Hello, people of the internet. We're finally done with the DLC. For now. I mean, I, I, I hope I'll finish this game before Wave 3 comes out. We'll see. But yeah, anyway. So now we can go back to doing more emblem fights. Because we, like, we still have Corrin. So, support conversations. And then, emblem fight. Hmm. Ivy, do you think maybe it's time we talked? Whatever you're feeling toward me, I'm prepared to listen. As allies, I'd like there not to be walls between us. Very well. I am rather more comfortable around you now, so... I suppose it's time. I'm glad to hear that. Can we start with why you seem to have such anger toward me? I love you. Oh. Huh? I love you, Divine One. My feelings began long before I met you. Understand, I do not mean romantically. I adore you as a worshipper adores a deity. But you looked so upset when you were staring at me before. My deity was standing before me in the flesh. I was nervous. Okay, yeah. Oh. Do you understand now? Yes, um, thank you for sharing that. I, um, like you as well, Ivy. Yes. May I be excused? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. And, and, I'm sorry. We'll speak again later, Divine One. All right. Hmm, what to do, what to do? About what, Prince Fogato? Ah, uh, it's nothing serious. I'm just struggling to come up with ideas for my next party. I want to do something that puts a smile on everyone's face, but it's a little tricky. What's so hard about a party? Well, you know, there aren't many bands available for gigs in wartime. Yeah, that uh, makes traveling hard. Plus, our budget's really limited, so there's not much room for error. Huh. I hadn't thought about all that, but you've got a point. Oh, what if we have a dessert party? Get together and just eat some sweet treats? Aren't, I mean, this is a fantasy world, but aren't sweets usually very expensive in medieval times? Desserts are the opposite of a party. Oh, oh, I mean, yeah, they, they don't help you build muscles. Huh, I've never met anyone who hated dessert. Hate's a strong word. I just love my muscles too much to load up on empty calories like that. What do you say to a workout party instead? What kind of party is that? It's where a bunch of people get together and do nothing but tone their muscles. That, I mean, to some people that probably sounds amazing. To, not, to me, that sounds horrifying. Huh. Interesting suggestion, but I don't think that would be everyone's cup of tea. You don't think so? Nah, I'll keep brainstorming. Thanks, though. I have a feeling that line of support conversations is Etie trying to convince Fogato to make a workout party. Ivy, do you remember much about my mother? Of course. She was quite memorable. Maybe you could tell me a little about her? What do you remember most? <sighs> my clearest memory is her smile. My mother hated all of father's other women your mother especially so she was badly mistreated by my mother and by all who sought her favor yet even through all of that she never seemed to stop smiling yeah by her charm and wits she eventually won even my mother over she turned her biggest enemy into a friend through sheer determination it left a powerful impression on me it made me realize how strong a parent can be for a child how strong Yes. It seems to me your mother fought those battles to carve out a niche for you. For me? Yes. She was the sort of person who shone a light on everyone who knew her. And you were the reason she shined so bright. Uh, this was something I needed to hear. Thank you, Ivy. Man, there's only one support conversation left and I feel like there's so much more to that story. Zep 
Happy morning, Panette. Good morning, Yunaka. You seem to be in good spirits, as usual. Always. It's one of my redeeming qualities. Mm-hmm. In point of fact, I have been meaning to ask you about that. Why do you insist on pretending to be cheerful all the time? You think I'm acting? You think I'm so talented I could keep it up all the time? I I'm flattered. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> do not bluff a bluffer. I can tell that this is not your true manner. When I began serving the boss, I had to swap out my own dialect for a more proper one. Since then, I have had a keen ear for others' false tongues. <sighs> Takes one to know one, doesn't it? I can't answer your question, though. If I spoiled the mystery, who would you harass with prying questions? My hands are tied. Hm. So be it. Forgive me for probing, but this duplicity, somehow it does not sit right with me. Uh-huh. Hey, Yunaka. I'm headed to a party right now. You want to come along? Party? Why? <laughs> ah, not feeling it, huh? You're always in such high spirits. I thought you'd be game. But hey, no worries. I'll see you when I have some other business. Take care. He came at me so fast, I forgot to put my act on. Oh, convenient. We were just having another support conversation about that. I better fix this fast. He'll expose the real me if I don't. Hey, Fogato! What's up? Zappy! I was totally yanking your bowstring. I love raucous carousing in enclosed spaces. <laughs> uh -huh, that's a, a way of putting it. Are you sure you're not forcing yourself? Don't be ridiculous! Parties are fun! I love fun! Take me to the parties! Every single one! All of them! Oh, you might have just made a terrible mistake. Ah, so I had you pegged right. Good. Knew we'd get along. In that case, come on! Let's head to the party. Play hard or don't play at all, am I right? Dang right! <laughs> oh, so much regret in that laugh. I forgot to do bond conversations, and those are kind of important for fights. If you were Firinay's ring a thousand years ago, how come you were moved to a different country? Lumera wished it so. Her intent is unknown to me. Still, she foresaw some reason for a change. Okay, that was a lot of nothing, honestly. I wonder what kind of food we'll find in the next town. Do you have any favorite foods, Lin? Good question. Meatballs, boar meat dumplings, sausage, most kinds of meat, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, now we can do the fight. Is this? No, it's not. And yet, the similarities... What's the matter, Corin? This place looks very much like where my fate branched. I had three options that day. My decision meant abandoning two of my possible fates. What do you mean? In my world, there are two opposing kingdoms, Hoshido and Nor. I was born in Hoshido. But spent my childhood in Nor. Having ties on both sides of a conflict. That would be a hard way to live your life. Indeed. This is where Hoshido and Nor faced off, and I had to choose which country to back. I had family and friends in Hoshido and in Nor. I didn't want to abandon any of them. But as hard as it was, I had to make a decision. Hoshido or Nor? Maybe neither, and I would fight alone. There was no obvious answer. I don't know how I'd make such a big choice. It's possible a significant one still awaits me at some point on our journey. You've already decided to face the Fell Dragon and save the world. I'd call that a big choice. Now let's see if your choice was a worthy one. Face me in combat. 
The results will inform my next choice. Surely our bonds will grow stronger. I understand. The paths we've each chosen. I'm excited to find out what lies beyond the point where our fates meet. Let's go. Are you ready? Then let's begin. Corin can alter the terrain. I can't get caught unaware by her changes. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, with her dragon bane, she can do whatever the heck she wants, I think. That's going to be an interesting wrinkle for this. Oh, uh, yep, and the water greatly slows down movement. Uh, I'm ready. What's your range? I can't reach you, you can't reach me. Okay, interesting. Okay. Uh, what do you have? Silver lands. So let's go with the silver axe to see if... Oh, actually, nope, never mind. I thought I gave you Hector, I gave you Ike. In which case... Let's go with Iron Great Axe, because I believe that's stronger? Yes, that is. Yep, 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 there we go. Uh, John Sounds perfect. heading in this direction. Give me strong foes. I'll get to... Here I go. And Anna. Here goes. And the rest of us are gonna head over gotcha. to this side. No mistakes. Oh, you actually did damage. I mean, to be fair, I guess they are higher level. Because I haven't had much opportunity to use Jade or Louie. Because we we're constantly going into huge maps. Oh. Uh, where are your ranges? This, this, this. Okay. I can I take take care of this. Yes, she can. I can still do more. Long bows? Nope, just silver bows. Go the hand axe. And hmm. Okay, how much would this deal up? Oh, he's fine. So the rest of us have to move out of the way. No, oh, Etty is still in range. Uh, that's gonna be annoying. I mean, she can fight back, so that's fine. But now on this side, how far can you go, Alfred? Okay. I cannot kill it because these guys are very fast. Uh, only thing for you to worry about is probably the mage. Uh, this is annoying. So I'll have to move here. These are a lot of backup units, I just realized. Okay, let me turn off. Uh, 
Okay, you know what? Actually... Let's not go to them. Let's let them come to us. I didn't realize that the uh, that you were the one that could get here. Oh, I didn't realize multiple of you could get here. This is a problem. Here. <laughs> I've got muscles to spare. Oh, okay. Thank you, Atiyah. That was a good session. A satisfying ending. Oh, that we hadn't cleared that would have been very bad. Jeez, that's a lot of them. You just straight up back up the unit. Care of this first before they take care of you. Yes, okay, that's good. Make sure you don't die. Uh, psychic. Yep. Thanks for that. And and turn. There's a lot of tome users. Trying to see who can take care of. Oh, actually. Oh. Oh. Yes. 
Oh, beautiful. Is this one off? You were a good fight. <sighs> okay, that was that was that was great. That was great. I'm really happy with the with that. Thank you, Tiki. I mean, I guess they don't have a very high magic stat. Oh, right. Can't text. I sense the draconic power underground. Is it a dragon vein? I'll use that to my advantage. Don't worry, though. I'm sure you'll be able to handle it. Okay, what's gonna happen? Oh, okay, just... Oh. Oh. I was expecting the river to dry up, but not burn into fire. No problem. Okay, so you're an issue. That we can't take care of in one turn. But... It won't kill, necessarily. But it'll deal a lot of damage. Will not reach. What is the range of psychic five? Ah, uh, yeah, but then that puts you in range of that, which is a uh, nope. Let's try to get as close to the end as we can. Try to get you guys out of this. Okay. Actually, okay, let's see if John finishes them off. Yes, okay. Oh wait, no. One for 
me! Forgive me! I need to be more diligent! did not move. That was a mistake. Speaking of mistakes, I forgot to take fire breath off. Take care of you. Take care of you. And what are my probabilities of hitting you? Stella Hunter. Okay, let's go. I had to stop you. Kill the threat first, and then we can do that. <laughs> okay, now I can do this without a worry. Feeling. Oh, you'll live. Ha! I gotta... I gotta make sure to actually look at the number, not just assume. Okay, alright. I mean, hammer. Okay, clean up the hammer's the same thing as the great axe stuff. Also, they can't fight back, so it doesn't matter. There's something that I can't afford to lose. Alright, uh, on this side... Just growl loudly. Okay, hope that they didn't get picked up. I mean, I don't think it will, but it'd be fun if it did. But I was like, wait, where's Anna? I think, right. Dragon. Ah! 
from me to you! <laughs> what a workout! I'm surprised they didn't move. Oh, because they don't have anything to attack. Okay. Right, can anyone take care of... One HP bar here? No. Uh, you can't reach. And neither can Jean. And you could do it. An... Okay, damn it, we're bolting. Well, actually, what's the, the ability you just got? Anima or something. What does that do? Uh, inflicts defense minus 3 with fire, hit minus 20 with thunder, or move minus 20 with wind. Okay, so one attack on films and click persist twenty uh Okay, okay. So actually I think I can So actually I just realized this I just take it. Oh I did not look at it, Ray, haha. Also knowing this game was probably stupid high though. Nice chunk out of it, but okay, exactly how much of a chunk? I think that's twenty. Okay, how much can Alfred do? All for one. Thirteen, if I can get people closer though. Well, that'll put you in great danger. Let's play it safe. Well, actually, that's Sticky's last turn, so actually. Uh... 
Uh, how do I put it below? Oh, okay. I have already chosen. Oh, I forgot about that. I don't think I. We're not lined up, right? That door kind of lined up. Oh. Yeah, but that's uh, a lot more stats down now. But on the oh, I can't move. Okay, Parfield wheel, a nice chunk. So that's one HP bar down. Hold nothing back. That'll literally do nothing. And you can take care of a part of an HP bar. So you can get down one HP bar. as a counter thing. Now he's gonna see me. Uh, John, this. Okay, this looks funny. A tiny man in big armor. Okay, uh... I guess first things first, let's make sure that you don't die. My good friend! Okay, so with this, Anna might be able to take care of an entire HP bar by herself. If she clicks. So let's do that. Kill me in again. One strike. Hey, go and yeah. no more. Yeah. Ah. Come again. Yeah, hit rate's very decent. So that'll equal 24. Astro Storm does 20. And then... Javelin will do 11. Okay, so this should work. Finish it off. Now I have you. My path is That went very well.
I expected no less from you. You gave my blade Yato quite a workout. You didn't even, you didn't even use Yato. What a beautiful sword. It's a divine blade, forged to bring peace to the world. When I first saw Yato, it flew from its hiding place into my hands. It chose me. It was the same day my mother died protecting me. You lost your mother too? I mean, I think that's just a Fire Emblem thing, losing parents. Uh, well, I mean, that's... It's a thing that happens in every Fire Emblem, I think. But, yeah, at least for these two, they're both dragons. They both lost their mother the day they got a special weapon. It would have been easy to lose myself in that pain. I couldn't have recovered alone. Luckily, I had friends who stood by me and helped me find my way home. And, like my friends, Yato was by my side at every step on my journey. I understand your feelings quite well. In the coming days, you'll make choices that might cause you no end of suffering. But no matter what pain you're feeling, I'm with you. And I'll help you find your way home again. I will remember, even in the darkest moment, that I am not alone. Then you'll be just fine. Thank you, Corin, for joining me on this path I have chosen. 